Ability to have a run stop switch for a CPU on an HMI can be a huge advantage for any engineer because that way you don't have to open a live control cabinet in order to actually set the CPU to run and stop and you can do it remotely via SCADA connection or a web server. Let me show you how easy it can be. As you can see here is the 1215 controller and the basic panel and this is what we want to set up the run stop switch for. First step is we come over to our project and as you can see we have a run stop screen and this is what we want to apply the run stop switch to. Let's come over to our elements, let's go grab a button, let's drag and drop it on. You can see there's the first one, let's go grab the next one. Alright, now I actually want to change some attributes. Let me give focus to the first one, right click, choose properties. Let's go to general and let's change this to run. Let's go to the appearance, let's change this to green and the actual text to black. Text format, let's actually increase it up to 17. Click OK. Now let me go over to our events. I'm going to leave it on click, that's fine. Let me give focus to this. And if I scroll down, you'll see something new here. Here's the set PLC mode. I actually need to establish this to the HMI connection. Connection 1 is correct and let me change this to run. Let me give focus to the next button. Let's go ahead and add the function as well. Let's go find this mode. There it is. And let's establish the HMI connection. Let's go back to the properties and let's move this up to a size 17 for the text as well. Change the appearance. Let's make this red. And the text is going to be black. And on general, let's actually call it stop. At this point, let's give focus to the HMI and click on the download arrow button. Now it's going to compile the fact that we've made these changes. Once it's accept this compilation, we can actually do an override all click on load. So now it's going to load this down to our HMI panel. You can see he is loading at this point. He's established his connection. And once he's done this, we will actually have the ability to do a run stop from our HMI. At this point, it appears that we've reestablished connection to our CPU. You can see I can come over here and our control code is still fully functional. Let me go to the run stop screen. I can actually establish it into a stop mode. So you can see it has gone into stop. Our control code has gone away. Let's go back into run. We have and go back to our code and everything works the way it's supposed to. I was able to do this in just a matter of minutes. Now that's engineering efficiency.